I'm Kristen Oaks-White. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. My partner Avery Davidson is with a livestock tour rolling its way across Missouri right now and he'll be joining us later on. Well, massive flooding has devastated many areas across the Midwest, killing at least two people and leaving thousands homeless. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts called this the most widespread disaster we've had in our state's history. Farmers and ranchers were especially hard hit. Early numbers estimate the agricultural damage could total more than $3 billion in Nebraska and Iowa alone. Floodwaters drowned thousands of head of livestock and destroyed nearly a billion dollars worth of grain in storage and livestock feed from Nebraska to Missouri. In most cases, flood damaged grain cannot be used in food or livestock production. Many farmers store grain on their farms after harvest while waiting for commodity prices to rise. And a loss of grain means a loss of income for them. In a test vote on Tuesday, the Senate overwhelmingly supported a $13.5 billion disaster bill that includes flood aid for the Northern Plains and Western Corn Belt. USDA Secretary of Agriculture Sonny Perdue says the damage comes at a time when farmers are already struggling from a tough farm economy. The National Weather Service warns that as the snowpack continues to melt, the worst may be yet to come, and risks aren't limited to the Midwest. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, nearly two-thirds of the country is at risk of flooding through May. About half of those states face the potential for major or moderate flooding from the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. As the flooding risk rises and flows further south, Louisiana residents are bracing for a disaster that we know all too well. Louisiana farmers and ranchers have joined the relief efforts to help those suffering from damage in the Midwest. Tri Parish Co-op in Slaughter, Louisiana is accepting donations to send up north to ranchers in need. Here are some of the items ranchers in Nebraska desperately need. Molasses protein tubs, range cubes, sweet feed, red brand 12.5 gauge barbed wire and T-post. They are also accepting cash donations. Tri Parish Co-op is located at 1080 Highway 19 in Slaughter, Louisiana and will have a flatbed trailer loaded with donations ready to depart for Nebraska on April 2nd. So get your donations in before then. Tri Parish Co-op staff say they have completely filled one trailer already and are working to fill a second one that a local farmer has offered to bring to Nebraska. They've lost so much and it's not going to take more than a week, more than a month. It's going to take years to reestablish what they have lost. The devastation is unreal. We had the flood waters, but they also had the, the ice and all of that, and they've had to wait for all of that to thaw before the waters will even recede. And underneath the flood waters, you also have decaying animals, and just their whole life is under water, and we've been there. So we definitely know how they feel, and we would love to pay it back. Other state organizations like the Nebraska Farm Bureau have also organized relief programs and we posted a link to some of those on our website at twilighttv.org. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. That really helps us out. Also, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things Louisiana agriculture that we cover here at Twyla. Also, check out this video right here and we'll see you on to the next one. Thanks.